Good afternoon, everybody. Colin here with TechOut. Today we're going to be going over some of the top iOS 15 features. Um, Apple released, or not released, but Apple announced that iOS 15 will be coming to the public on September 20th, uh, which is Monday. It's currently September 15th. Um, so I want to go over some of my favorite features. This, again, is not a review of iOS 15. That will be coming later on once it releases to the public. Um, I will do a full review and everything like that on my experience because I am technically still on the beta. But right now, my favorite features are going to be Focus. Um, I actually found myself using this quite a bit, um, more than I thought, because when Android had a similar feature to this where you could have different modes um, based on like location and stuff like that, I wasn't really using it. Um, now this, with uh, Focus, you can do it based on location. So like work, I have it set up when I get to work. It automatically goes into that, so I, I will only get notifications from people I work with for like text messages and stuff like that. Uh, sleep um, automatically works with your sleep schedule that you set in the clock app. Um, so if you have a sleep schedule set up there, um, all your settings for that will be right here. Um, so what apps you can get notifications from and then all your stuff down here for your alarms. All that kind of stuff is right there. Personal right here. Um, so you can choose you know, when to turn it on if you want to turn it on automatically or you can do it manually. Um, focus status is whether it shares whether you're in a focus mode with people on iMessage. Um, and I think apps can be updated to support this as well. But again, since iOS 15 has not been released to the public yet, apps are not updated for iOS 15 just quite yet. You can lock it to certain home screens, um, hide notification badges. Um, so if you lock it to certain home screens, you can choose, like if I choose this one right here, it will only give me access to this home screen um, when I am in this focus mode. So if you want to put apps on a screen for like work apps and then have that, only, um, that screen only available to you while you're in the work focus, um, that way you're not distracted by opening other apps and that kind of stuff. You can do that. Um, you can have a dim the lock screen, show silence notifications on the lock screen. Um, you have customizations for all that kind of stuff right there. You can also create new focus modes. Um, so there are some different ones that are kind of preset um, with different settings or you can make a custom one. You can do a custom icon um, and name and all that kind of stuff um, for whatever you may want to. Um, so that's one of the biggest features on iOS 15 this year. Um, second is in iMessage and um, sharing and stuff like that. It's called Share With You. So if somebody sends you photos, links, that kind of stuff, um, they will show up in relevant areas like in Safari. Um, if I open up Safari here, we can see um, when somebody sends me a link, like somebody sent me a link to a YouTube video or an article, um, and it shows up right here and shared with you. So I can get right to that link without having to go back to iMessage um, and find the link that that person sent me. Um, it all groups it right there. Same with photos. Uh, shared with you photos will show up in your photo albums. I don't have any shared with me photos right now. Um, I don't think. Let's see. Yeah, I don't think I have any right now. Um, it's just my vacation pictures and stuff like that that are in there in memories. Um, but share with you photos will be in there as well. So all that kind of stuff is new in iOS 15. Uh, this is the iOS 15 wallpaper right here for the... Um, Previous devices, the iPhone 13 obviously has its own wallpaper coming out, but this is the iOS 15 wallpaper. Um, and so far in iOS 15, it is the only wallpaper there. But other than that, speed and battery life have been just fine. Um, no battery life issues, no um, no speed issues or anything like that. Uh, widgets are still pretty much the same. They did add uh, a few features to those. Um, we're still waiting on universal control on Mac OS and iPad OS. That's one of the features I'm looking forward to on the iPad OS side of things. Um, it is kind of in there, but it's not working fully in the beta yet. Um, so hopefully in the next beta of macOS, which is expected to release a little bit later, that's not coming out on September 20th, we'll see universal control. But this is iOS 15, um, and those are some of the major new features. Um, I would definitely suggest that you upgrade on September 20th. It's definitely a stable update. I haven't had too many bugs. All my apps and stuff like that are working just fine. Um, but again, I will be doing a full review closer to the 20th. This has been Tech Out. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and have a great day.